hello and welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is abia and i've been traveling north america in my self-converted minivan faith for the past two years and in today's video i am going to be talking about something that i don't normally talk about on this channel and as you can tell by the title of this video your girl's exhausted i'm van life exhausted Outside my window Is everything pale and cold Can't seem to pick up my phone It's been ringing all day long Behind these clothes I know the sun will be But today's raining So be patient with me I'll be Decent. Decent. I'm still tired. I just feel like I don't want to do anything right now. And I know things need to get done. I know. And I'm convincing myself, well, it's really not that bad. My van is really not that bad. Yeah. But I do need to wash the outside of my car today for sure. That has been neglected far too long. All right. All right. Yeah. But I just don't really feel like doing much. As much as I don't want to do this, it needs to get done. My van is dirty. <laughs> on the outside real dirty so there we go so as I'm leaving North Dakota I am going to wash the car the van um, and I have to manually wash it because I was told by a subscriber that the chemicals in a pull through car wash could damage my solar on top. I don't know if that's true or not, but I decided not to take a risk. So I have been manually washing my vehicle and I haven't washed my vehicle in a while, okay? And there's dead bugs everywhere on the front. Well, the card reader's not working. So let me see if I can conjure up some change.
he's like a warm embrace. Alrighty, not the best wash, but it looks a lot better than it did before. And I'm just tired. I I I am it's a different kind of tired. It's kind of like hold on, let me leave this car wash. Um find somewhere where we could chit chat um for a second while I'm drive to Minnesota to go spend some time with my son. Yeah, so let me get on the road and find somewhere we could chit chat because this is a different type of tire. I'm exhausted. And I'm going to explain what am I exhausted of? I'm too tired to sleep, too tired to do anything else than doing nothing. I'm too tired to rest, too tired I'm blue, can't do nothing else. found a nice little chill spot for a second uh just to converse with you guys today yeah I was just exhausted I was so exhausted I felt like a Debbie Downer kind of sort of uh because my sister-in-law was like well what do you want to do while you're here and I'm like um if y'all normally sit and chill in the crib or whatever you do after work you know I'm cool with that <laughs> I'm so cool with that. I'm so cool. I was so cool with not going anywhere, not doing anything, not thinking about what to do, not having to figure out where I'm going to rest for the night, not figuring it out, where I'm going to shower, what am I going to eat, where am I going to chill for the day, what's the weather like. I mean, I was exhausted from thinking about all of those things that van life that you have to think about when you do this lifestyle so i kind of <laughs> stayed in their house and chilled out for a good three days and let me tell you it was it was phenomenal it was like oh a break a mental break a physical break you know, and eventually, guys, I got to do something with this bed. Uh, the bed is comfortable. However, I can't sit straight up in my bed, and that is a problem. I'm got to figure it out. But there's always something in van life, guys, always something. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm in such a small space. A minivan is small you guys you can't stand up in it you know you have if you want to stretch or anything you got to get outside your van to do that so i spend most of my time outside of my van and especially now since i can't sit up straight on my bed i spend even more time either sitting here sitting on my fridge or sitting outside you know, or doing something else, sightseeing, walking around, you know, and that gets exhausting. And also, I didn't have to drive. <laughs> I didn't have to drive. And I think a lot of my exhaustion is my fault. You know, I bring on a lot of it myself because I want to see this. I want to see this. I want to go here. I want to do this, you know, and I yeah, it's a lot of it's my fault, you know? I travel, you know, I don't, I haven't just stayed in like one state, one state or anything. I, I travel all over North America. And this last trip was something that was on my bucket list. I wanted to go to the West Coast, you know? I've been to Arizona, but I haven't done van life in California. And I, at this point, I'm like over that, like I, I have no desire Oregon is where it's at <laughs> but I wanted to do that and I did and let me tell you this last month has been 
the most I don't know. It was a lot of emotions. It was it was relaxing. The Oregon coast is relaxing. Don't get me wrong. It did take me a while to get familiar with the area. And once I got everything down packed, where am I going to shower? Where am I going to sleep? You know, grocery stores. After about a week in Oregon, I think I had all that mapped out. And that's when I was able to relax in Oregon, get comfortable in Oregon chill out it took a lot of those thoughts out of my you know mind that you didn't have to think about where you're going to sleep you didn't have to think about uh where you're going to shower you know you didn't have to think about those things because i had it mapped out and that's one reason why i like you know my van life in missouri even though i think missouri is kind of boring but it, with, in missouri in st louis I have my places already picked out. Simple, cool, breezy, easy. Don't have to worry about it. Don't have to think about it because that's my home base. I'm familiar with the area. I got all sorts of resources there. But when you're traveling to a different state, you really have to familiarize yourself with the area and what type of resources that, that they have to offer you. But yeah, so I didn't do hardly anything at my brothers. They fed me. I knew I was going to shower. Whew. I knew where I was going to sleep. And yeah, that was very refreshing to me. I felt like, you know. Thank you guys for that, you know. But now I'm headed back on the road, guys. I'm still exhausted. But before heading back to st louis because i have a doctor's appointment coming up i have to stop to minnesota which north dakota you know minnesota is down below to visit my son and then um from him i'm going to head back to home base <laughs> okay uh yeah i'm excited to see my son and i don't i didn't film my visit with my brother and his family and I'm more than likely not gonna film my visit with my son because I just really want to take that time to put down the camera and just really spend quality time with them so I'm not gonna film it I'm not gonna turn our visit my visit into a film production because <laughs> I'm good for that if they allow me but no it just feels good to put down the camera. It just feels good to just... <sighs> Does it feel good? Try that with me. <sighs> just release it. And be like, you know, it's okay. It's okay to be exhausted, Avia. It's okay to be tired. That's okay. Because you know what? I'm not a superhuman. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a superhuman. And maybe I have did, yeah. Oh, man, it's dawning on me, like, as I'm sitting here. You know, because the trip from St. Louis to the Oregon coast was 33 hour drive okay it was over 2,000 miles <laughs> uh, I broke that up into six days so it took me six days to get there because I broke it up um, that's when I was able to visit Wyoming and Utah and all that jazz so yeah so that was the longest road trip I've ever taken since starting van life. The longest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was so worth it. I'm, I don't regret a thing. I don't regret a thing, believe me. But I'm now I'm thinking like, what? what's next after this? What's next? Where else do I want to go? Do I 
What else do I want to see? And at this point in my life, I really feel as if I need to slow down a little bit, get my tail back to home base, you know, and stay within the within my city, my state, and slow down a little bit. Save on money, save on gas, because going to the West Coast actually cost me more money than I anticipated. And a lot of that had to do with the cost of gas and food. Yeah, because uh, I didn't book any hotels or anything of that nature. So I do need to get back to work when I get back to home base, do some ship. Ship or DoorDash is what I do on the side when my finances run low. So I will do some of that when I get back. But other than that, I'm looking for, I guess I'm looking for stability a little bit. And I think my home base provides me with some stability. Um, yeah, instead of being out here and having to just figure so much out. Look at this thing, you guys. My sister-in-law gave me this. She makes this, um, she uses this for sticky rice. And yeah, and she makes this sticky rice with this sauce stuff. I wrote it down, I don't remember what it was. I'll probably just list it all right here. But it's really good, so I'm gonna learn. <laughs> how to make sticky rice because I actually like it. Now to me, it seems like sticky rice to them is like foo foo to Africans, okay? So I don't know what culture does the sticky rice, so that's why I didn't say a culture. Uh, but yeah, you it's sticky and you ball it up and she makes the sauce for it and you put it in the sauce and eat it and it's really good i'm so I, so she gave me this as a little gift and they gave me another gift which i'll share with that later uh, actually it's not a big deal but they gave me a drone uh, my brother and sister-in-law gave me a drone so now i gotta learn how to fly that okay yeah, so I just filled up on gas, guys, and um, yeah, we are about to hit the road to Minnesota. Um, it's a six-hour drive, <laughs> and I'm going to do it all at one time. Yeah, do it all at one time. Uh, yeah, because my son has two days off work, so this is a good time to go, and it's still early in the morning. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning, guys. And uh, and I know for a fact, my son is not up at this hour. So by the time I get there, he should be up. He works evening hours, so he sleeps more during the day. Um, so yeah, that's just what it is. So let's get on the road. Oh, you almost fail. Let's get on the road, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go for this long six hour drive. I guess what I'm trying to say is having a break from van life, especially if your rig doesn't allow you to stand up completely, in my opinion, can be very helpful for your mental and physical well being. Although I enjoy the comforts of a regular home, I'm still tired, but I gotta keep moving. So going to Minneapolis will be easy because just like as in St. Louis, I am familiar with the city so I don't have to figure out where to sleep, eat, and shower. Hey, if you're in van life and if you are tired and exhausted and stressed out, it's okay to take a break. Give yourself the time to recharge. Trust me, your future adventures will appreciate that. 
so I'm driving and I see Camping World, guys. So I think I'm gonna just turn around and just go snoop and be nosy and see what it feels like to stand up in your rig. You dig? <laughs> that was so important. Double doors. <laughs> Why not dream, guys? You don't mind if I record you? Man. And so in a Class C, this would be how many feet? So uh, this would be a lot shorter in Class C. Oh, what I see what you're saying. Okay. Closet. Oh. I see. That's different. And you can close it off. Yep. Different. Wow. I think I know what I need, guys. I think I know what I need. I need a motorhome. I need a motorhome with the luxuries of standing up. Look at this, not saying this particular one, but I saw a camping world along the highway. So I stopped in to have, I'm thinking I like class C's. My camera's dirty. There we go. That's a little better. I like the class C's and I'll explain why later. Not this one particular, but it's all right. That's a, a four winds Thor. This is a Jayco. Let's go take a look. This is a I don't even know, is it 29? I don't know. The guy's coming back out. They gave me a rookie and I had too many detailed questions and he couldn't answer them. <laughs> I've been doing this for two years. So I kind of have an idea. A dedicated bed space where you can stand up. You don't have to worry about shower, Abia. It'll be easier to cook. Yeah. Oh, here he comes. Well, we gonna look at fancy. This is a magnitude. I've never heard of them. Super duty, magnitude, Thor, 550. Wow. Full body paint exterior. Wow. Wow. Got a full size fridge in here. Yes, ma'am. And this sleep, oh, okay, so one, two, right? Oh, so the table flips two. down. Yep. So you'll get two, four, six total if you wanted nine. Wow. I don't remember this. Yeah, this doesn't sleep. But they say two, four, four six. This is nice. Super nice. And the only slide is the bedroom. So this, this whole, this whole thing is a slide. Oh, okay. And I then see. you have your bed that's a slide. So while you're driving, you have a little path. Right. I get it. Auto nice. level. You just hit a button, picks itself up. Wow. There's nothing wrong with dreaming. Dreams can be the force to build your motivations upon. Dreams do come true. And I may not be able to stand up in my camper van home now, but one day I will. Uh, you have an orange soda?
fish from Arby's. Sorry if you guys hear the AC blowing in the background, but I just finished some lunch. I guess you could call that lunch. It was a uh, fish, fish from Arby's. Interesting. It was all right. Was it worth 10 bucks? Probably not, <laughs> but I'm no longer hungry. Anyhow, well, yeah, I stopped at the RV at Camping World RV just to get an eye, just to get some motivation. And I think being in my minivan, I think I was kind of needing a little more space at the time. And I think that's mainly what I'm exhausted from. Just the amount of space here. I do love the fact that in a minivan, I blend in. Um, I... You know, I do have to find where I'm gonna park and rest, but if I'm in a residential area, um, <laughs> I can spot out spots where I can park that's really not in front of no one's house or something like that. You know, maneuvering this baby is, is not hard. Filling it up is, is, you know, definitely less expensive than it would be if I had something bigger. So, but, I need to figure out how to make some more money, y'all. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Because right now, I just can't afford anything bigger. And if I did, it definitely wouldn't be nothing straight off the lot like that. Because that, those RVs were like, I think the cheapest one was like $93,000. Yeah. And, uh, you know... You can find them used and all that good stuff. I I understand. But it gives me some motivation. Because I think that, you know, standing up, having easy access to a kitchen, a bathroom, shower. I think that could eliminate so much stress, I would say. I'm sure other things are going to be added on you know parking paying for rv parks and all that good stuff but standing up you guys have no idea <sighs> anyways <laughs> yeah so i'm just a rambling this video i hope this video makes any sense because i really have no idea at this point i hope it makes sense to you because I'm kind of like all over the place at the moment. I guess that's my goofy self coming out because I'm tired. Anyways, I got a good two and a half more hours to drive to St. Uh, Minneapolis. And so I'm going to let you guys roll up out of here, y'all. And I'm going to go spend some quality time with my son. And then after that, we'll be headed back to St. Louis. So guys, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I greatly appreciate it. And if you are new here, subscribe to the channel so that you're notified when I upload my next video. Like I always say, live your joy, travel safely, and I'll see you on the next video. Shalom. I'm too tired to sleep too